It's time for college basketball here from Hilton Coliseum in Ames, Iowa. And then we have Audie Crooks for Iowa State, 6'3", freshman post, Iowa local, uh, 23 points versus Drake, si seven for nine shooting. She's gonna be a huge presence for Iowa State in the post. And I'm, I'm specifically looking forward to Iowa State transitioning from having a largely guard dominated three point um, team to now being able to utilize that post play down low. Well, the crowd is really starting to file in here at Hilton Coliseum. And there's the veteran Bill Fenley in his 29th season here at Iowa State going for win number 592. A relatively new team with new players who are still trying to find the chemistry and figure out how they worked well together. This year we have some of those up same players back, a little more experienced, a little more comfortable coming into Hilton. Um, whereas we have Iowa State with all these new players figuring out their chemistry and figuring out what works. And Bellinger figures it out right away as she knocks down the three. She's joined on the floor by Brown Nadabu. Do Kelsey Jones getting the start. Here's the starting five for Southern. Fontenot, Fleming, Reed, Legions, and Castro. Your officials, Scott Yarborough, Maggie Tiemann, and Nick Marshall. So Iowa State knocking down a triple right away. On the drive with Reed will overshoot the hoop. And for Iowa State, Chelsea, you were a big part of this too. That's a streak of 897 games that they've hit a three. <laughs> I don't think there was a lot of games where we didn't hit a three. <laughs> None. None. It's been a long time, something that has been implemented in here, a stamp of the program. I was the post player, but I, I don't think I shot a whole lot of threes during my time, so I was not. But I, that's why I say I definitely appreciate the post play that we're going to have this year. Pull up by Fleming, and she knocks it down, the graduate from Borg, Louisiana, just at 5'6", came into the game averaging 5.3 and she gets Southern on the board. Southern's coming out with a lot of energy, especially on the offensive end. Jones, the shot no good, but there was a foul underneath, and it's gonna be called against Southern. And that foul gonna be called against Castro. Sky will pick up her first. Cyclones back at it offensively, up by one. And Bellinger again, this time wide of the mark. Nadabu with the rebound, but is fouled underneath as the officials are trying to make sure it's clean early on. Iowa State has so much height down low. It's going to be kind of difficult for Southern um, in order to match up with that. There's a few, few six-footers, but Iowa State, I think, it has at least five six-footers on the team. Underneath the do, and she's able to hit that bucket. Sky Castro picked up her second, is now sitting on the bench. And that's something that Carlos Funcha said that couldn't ill afford to see his post players get into trouble here tonight. On the drive with Fleming, and she'll use the glass to get her second bucket of the game. Bellinger looking for Nadabu, who's posting up. Iowa State reverses it. Due in the paint. Left it short and the rebound comes down to Southern. And Southern I, has in the past done a mix of man and zone. And they know that Iowa State has this size. That's why they're starting off in this zone. It'll be, um, I'll look, for to see, look forward to seeing her them either shift it up or de depending on how Iowa State adapts to this defense. Here's Brown, she'll take the three, and hit! Got that confidence, the... <laughs> Coming off of a game in which she scored eight against Drake, knocking down that triple. And a travel gonna be called as Legions drove it in the paint. And Iowa State to their bench, Audie Crooks will check in for the first time. The freshman from Algona listed at 6-3, coming off of a 23-point performance, as you mentioned, against Drake. Seven of nine from the field in that game. What I really love about Audie Crooks is that she has, she's got the height, and she has the hands, and she has the footwork. A lot, of, a lot of times you'll get six-foot players who don't know how to catch the ball or don't know how to move their feet, and... I'm really excited to see how she adapts to Big 12 play as conference comes ahead. 
Iowa State going point guard by committee, but Bellinger picking up another assist, and Southern right back at you. As Tiana Lidge, who just checked into the game, picks up her first basket. It's been interesting for Southern this year. They've been somewhat of the walking wounded and foul trouble. That's their third foul of this opening quarter as Chloe Felt Fleming is going to be whistled. I mean, you've got a first-team all-SWAC player in Geneva Johnson who's out with an injury. She won't be back with the team until December. And then you had Taylor Williams who had an outstanding first three games. Then she got injured in the third game of the season against Purdue. You see Crooks go to work. That's her first bucket. She had a great seal, great position. 12-6 Iowa State. Cyclones with five assists already on all five makes. Three of them coming from Bellinger. Crooks with a rebound. And Southern's doing what they did they did best versus Miami is driving, getting into the lane, seeing what's open, and getting to the hoop, drawing that foul. The huge skip pass from Dew to Bellinger pays off. Hannah with her second triple of the game. Cyclones looking sharp here early on. Six of eight from the field, and a foul now here on Jones. Good skip action, recognizing the defense cheating. Both teams go to their bench. Ariana Jackson, who started the first two games, now coming off the bench. The freshman from Des Moines will check in for Jones. And also coming into the game for Southern is going to be Kiana Morgan, a senior from Charlotte. Has the ball right now, and she'll pop a three. Bevy of activity here early on. Southern in the zone, Bellinger to the baseline. Crooks with the rebound, and she's going to be called for the push-off. So Audie Crooks will pick up her first personal foul. And Jalen Bristow now into the game for Addie Brown. It's really these early season games where you really get to see where people step up. We get to see what works, um, who works well, um, in what positions. And it's great to see everyone get in, get a touch on the ball, and kind of make their shot happen. Shot clock starting to wind down here. Spot no, trying to work on Jackson to the corner. Morgan caught up. Shot clock down to two. Going to have to launch the big shot. Banked off the rim. Obillo with the opportunity. Cyclone spread at Bellinger for three. Got it! Feeling hot. As they say, shooters got to shoot. <laughs> and Hannah's certainly doing that three of three from downtown. Iowa State 70% from the floor. Most impressively, seven assists so far. The turnaround off the mark due with a good defense on Legions. And Southern has to be coming in hungry off of four road games, four tough games against a lot of great teams. And I'm sure they're coming in here with a lot of energy, ready for a win. Do shot off the mark. That'll bring us to a timeout on the floor. Iowa State has been firing on all cylinders to begin this. 7 of 11 from the field, and Bellinger with 9. And a year ago, all games played in the last 10 years, and we had a chance to talk to Carlos Funches. He said, familiarity, is it going to be an advantage? Team has been in this environment. He said, no. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no. And then he had a smile on his face as you take a look at the Drive there by Williams. And this is good to see Taylor Williams back out on the floor for Southern. She didn't play in the game against Miami, but had 11 points against Baylor a couple of games ago. The transfer, Bethune-Cookman, will toe the line right at 63% on the season. 
He did say that familiarity, no, but he, he did say they would be more comfortable after um, like that not being a fresh team, not being completely new faces, and they have a year under their belts. So they're a little bit more experienced than they kind of know what to expect stepping into this game tonight. Taylor knocks them both down on the floor for Iowa State. Nataboo back in, along with Bristow, Jackson, Bellinger, and Brown. For Southern, it's Fontenot, Williams, Obillo, Lidge, and Morgan. And action away from the ball. Three-second violation going to be called on Bristow. As now Kelsey Jones will come back into the lineup for Jackson. Iowa State getting a lot of three-pointers up. Um, four for six, 66.7% from the three-point line. Whereas Southern's going more forward, driving into the lane and kicking. Obillo looking to work it. Morgan. Shot clock starting to wind down. Lot on the dribble. Will hand it off. That's Williams. Gets the friendly roll. And Taylor Williams off the bench with four. Jones looking to drive it. Now to Bristow. Man-to-man -man defense here for Southern. Not Here's a boat fighting down low. <laughs> and a hand hold and a hand check. Lidge is going to be whistled for the foul. With a double team down low. That's going to be the fourth team foul here on Southern. Lidge is first. Nataboo at the line, had six the other night against Drake, able to knock this one down. Improving on that 44% start from the free throw line by knocking that one down is Nelly Nataboo. <laughs> Looked terrific. She has her first couple of points of the game. Now Nymir Dew will be back into the game. She'll come in for Jalen Bristow. So a seven-point contest, first quarter starting to wind down. As the Jags have come to play, pick to finish second in the Southwest Athletic Conference. That jumper off the mark by Fontenot, and here come the Cyclones. Brown down to the corner to do. Good movement around the, around the arch. Ooh. And Bellinger. A little too fast to the lane will be called for the charge. That'll be her first. Team foul number four on Iowa State. Cyclone starting to cool off slightly. And things are picking up for Southern. Now five of ten from the floor. A little handoff. Fontenot can't get it to fall. Brown with the board. Outlets it ahead to Jones. Trying to look inside first, now do for three. Got it! That's a tough shot to guard when you're trying to double team Nelly down low. Nymir do with the three now with five in the game. Iowa State having good court sight, good recognition to see her out on that three point line. They're really wanting to get it inside. Now Bellinger. That's her first miss from three-point range. Southern down by 10. Largest deficit of the night so far for the Jags. Trying to cut into it with Williams. A little long on the shot. Bellinger with the board. Nataboo at the top. Hands off to Dew. And a travel. Little shuffle of the feet. That'll cost you a T.O. Iowa State back to their bench. Crooks and Jackson, the two freshmen, will come in. In fact, there are four freshmen and one senior out on the floor for Iowa State. It's a very young team this year. A lot of new faces. Back to Bill Penley. Probably wishes he 
Could have some money for every time he's asked. How are they progressing throughout the season? <laughs> That's been the number one question asked to him so far. Here's Dew to Crooks. Ooh. What a pass and what a finish. Good position. Audie with four. Inside of 21 to play now here in the opening quarters. About a second difference between the shot and the game clock. So Lidge, make it Obilla, will hand it up top. Shifting to a zone. Obilla to her left, to the corner of the three. Off the mark, Jackson will have it and will dribble out the clock. That'll be the end of the first quarter. Iowa State, five of eight from three-point range, led by Hannah Bellinger's nine. And they've got a 25-13 lead as you're watching college basketball on Big 12 now on ESPN+. We're about ready to begin the second quarter of play here at Hilton Coliseum. Southern trying to get back to the NCAA tournament. So far this season, 0 and 4, but what a schedule. This is their third Big 12 conference team they've played. First five games on the road, lost to Miami the other night, as we had mentioned, by four, and had a chance actually to win that game. Just foul trouble down the stretch, cost them. And of course, last season in a non-conference, they went six and nine in the SWAC 12 and six, and ended up being SWAC conference champions qualified for the NCAA tournament, eventually losing to Sacred Heart in that first four matchup played out at Stanford a year ago. Now, just trying to build back towards this season. Injuries have played them. They got a lot of veterans on their squad this year. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a baptism by fire, but I think that was the same way as it was last year. Uh, I think Coach, um, Coach Fung just really loves kind of having tough games at the beginning of the year so they can find their groove and find their chemistry. I mean, and play against good teams. So kudos to them for showing up and starting off with such with such tough teams on their schedule. Well, things are happening. Kelsey Jones with her first three of the game. Iowa State now six of nine, and Southern will turn it over again. That is going to be their fourth turnover of the game. Everything's been passing fancy, too, for Iowa State. How about this? As a team, they have 10 assists on 10 makes from the field. Mm -hmm. And Southern wants to shoot that mid-range shot, which they're struggling against Iowa State's tall presence down low on the defensive end, and they're struggling to guard all the, the six-footers in the paint down here while with having Helen, Hannah Bellinger with that three-point range. Southern going to reverse it around. Fleming at the point. Handed off to Williams, the kick out. The three ball on the way. Off for Legions. And the rebound to Crooks. Audie will feed it low to Brown. Too high, turned over. Southern back the other way. Now the three ball, Reed can't get at the fall. And that's kind of a, with Audie Crooks passing down low, um, it's a young athlete kind of mentality where you gotta be able to recognize that there is three people on one person and kind of reading that scenario and being able to kick it out to the three and recognizing where who's open at what point in time. See that second quarter clock winding down. It's been a track meet here to begin the second quarter of play. That shot off the mark and the rebound to Jones. In fact, Iowa State is going to put four players in. They're at the scores table. Southern with a couple. That'll be at the next dead ball. Here's Krug's great feed from Jones, and Audie has six now. And a timeout going to be taken here by Southern. And it will bring us to a timeout on the floor. 7.24 to play here in the first half. Iowa State expanding its lead as you're watching college basketball on Big 12 now on ESPN+. 
Cyclones with their largest lead here at 17 with 7.24 to play in the first half. Iowa State going for win number two early on in the season and beat Butler to open up the year, 82-55, then lost on the road at the Knapp Center in Des Moines. Returned just four players from last season. And tonight, celebrating their Big 12 Tournament Championship, they dropped the banner, plus the NCAA Tournament banner dropped tonight. Storied program here in Ames. And uh, know they've got some youth. But somehow, Coach Finley always <laughs> always finds a way to um, shape them up, bring them together, build that chemistry, and get them in gear before Big 12 play. Reed with her first bucket of the game for Southern. And Bellinger back in along with Matabu. Bristow, Shantavia Dawkins getting her first action of the night for Iowa State as that rebound is grabbed by the Jags. Bring it in the front court with Fleming. Trying to work on Bellinger, the kick out. Fontenot will reset. She'll drive with the right hand, can't get it to fall. Rebound to Nadabu. Here's the before mentioned sophomore Dawkins into the front court. Bristow. Deflected away. Last touch by Morgan of Southern. Southern will go back to their bench. Sky Castro will check in with those two fouls. It looked like Lidge was struggling a bit with Audie Crooks down low. And she's a, she's a big presence down there, and that's tough to guard. Tough to keep out of the paint, specifically. Dawkins with the dump into Natabu. Can't get it. Bristow's one-timer no good, but gets it the second time around Does Jalen Bristow. That's her first basket of the game. So Southern back down again by 17. Reed measuring. Now the three on the way by Morgan off the mark. It's a missed opportunity to pass it down low to Castro. So Addie Brown back into the contest. She'll check in for Bristow. Mixing with the lineups out on the floor for both of these two teams as Bellinger looks inside. Now to Natabu with positioning, but shuffled her feet. Morgan's doing a great job of locking up Dew. They got quick feet. To the high post, Castro will hand it off to Fontenot. Guarded by Dawkins. Going to work is Reed in the paint with eight on the shot clock. Morgan fumbled it. Now down to three underneath Castro. Gets the friendly roll again. Didn't miss her that time. <laughs> Castro knocking down the bucket for Southern. Here's Bellinger for three. Why not? Her fourth triple of the night. She's definitely not, not afraid to shoot. New season high for Bellinger. And the block. Southern maintains possession. Hannah having a night. This three drilled by Southern Fontno, able to knock it down. That's the first three of the game. Second, I beg your pardon, for Southern. Back down to a 15 point lead. Brown. Now to do. Skip to the corner, Dawkins. And a three-second violation going to be called against Natabu. She'll check out of the game. Crooks back in along with Jones. And Hannah Bellinger is a senior coming from Truman State. 
Uh, that's why she's coming in with so much confidence. Uh, she comes in with that veteran mentality, um, kind of ordering people around on the court. And, and I mean, that's why she's shooting so much. <laughs> she had 11 the other night against Drake, but all of those were in the second half now with 12 here in the first half. An illegal screen gonna be called against Southern. So Southern also mixing the lineup up. Legions will come back into the game. So 3.33 to play. First half, 15 point game. Here's Crooks at the high post. Hands it off to Jones for three. Drills it. She's got six. That was Kelsey's second three for the game. Iowa State, eight of 13 from three-point range. And a travel gonna be called on Southern. Turnovers becoming an issue. That's six committed by Southern. Iowa State with seven turnovers, but 13 assists in the first half so far. Iowa State's dominating on the boards with 17 rebounds versus so Southern's eight. What that Bristow with a give and go for Brown. Who's got seven? Cyclones with 40 here in the first half and the block by Brown. Out ahead to Jones, to Bellinger. Southern with a good get back defense. Iowa State inside to Crooks. Strong drop step. I think it's going to be the signature Audie Crooks move. She's got eight. Cyclones by 22. This is Fleming. Can't get it to fall. Rebound to Crooks. So Audie Crooks now with four rebounds in the game, all on the defensive end. Now inside on the block, goes to her right and hits it. Oh, fade away towards the middle. You mentioned that Iowa State known for their three-point game. Uh, now, th this is making me so happy. <laughs> now a post getting it done as Southern able to come back with the answer there. I, I truly appreciate good post work and the effort it takes to get in the right position for those those kind of shots. Brown with the putback, not there, but we'll go to the line to shoot two. So Addie Brown will toe the line here for Iowa State. And how about this for Brown? Just the third game of the season. But these are going to be her first free throw attempts as Hannah Bellinger checks out and gets a good hand from the Iowa State crowd. Ariana Jackson is back in. These are the games where that confidence is built. And I, th I think it's this game that will kind of lead the charge for those Thanksgiving games that are coming up against an, a couple other tough, um, tough teams like Syracuse and Vanderbilt. Brown knocks down both free throws. And how about Addie Brown? Nine here in the first half for Iowa State. Well, the question is, how are they progressing? And tonight, Iowa State, at least in this first half, taking a step forward. Good pass to Lidge. And this will be tied up. Possession arrow to Iowa State. Jones mixing it up inside with Legions. To work with Jackson to Brown. Trying to find Crooks. It'll of, be tossed away. Bit of a forced pass. You could tell they, they stared him down and really wanted it, but Southern's defense wasn't allowing it. Morgan able to knock down that basket. She's got five. Jones now the... Too high and hard of a pass to Audie Crooks. Into the front court with Morgan. If Audie 
It can touch your hand. As you mentioned, great hands would probably bring it in. More than likely <laughs> to bring it in. But Iowa State still has to recognize if it works two times, uh, a good team like Southern is going to adjust a bit. You can already see them dipping down to double team. And so Iowa State is going to have to learn to adjust and make some changes. So now Jackson trying to go to work. Two second difference between the shot and the game clock. First half winding down. Jackson for three. Just off the mark. And Southern will have 3.2 to work. Getting those freshman jitters out. Going to have to work it up the floor. Williams. Unable to really get a good shot off, and Iowa State will take a 22-point lead into the locker room. 46-24. to 24. As Iowa State on top, you're watching college basketball on Big 12 now on ESPN+. That's from the three-point range uh, since Iowa State is playing pretty, pretty great defense and still attacking that lane and looking for those kickbacks because that's their style of play. Your starters begin the late half for Southern. Fontenot, Fleming, Reed, Castro, and Legions. And Brown comes up with the ball. She's on the floor with Crooks, Jones, Bellinger, and Dew. Here's Jones. Left it short. Kelsey will get her own rebound back to Bellinger, who will reset. Hannah gets it to Crooks. Off the right block. Too strong. Gets her own reback. rebound. She's just padding her stats. Audie Crooks with her 12th point of the night. That was a little that was a little too easy of a post up. There wasn't a whole lot of defense pushing her out of that paint. So Bellinger and Crooks with 12 each to lead Iowa State. Fontenot leading the way for Southern with five. Here's the three left something to be desired as it comes up a little bit short for Fontenot. Castro's gonna have to find a little grit and tenacity in order to get keep Audie out of the paint, not letting her find that good position and I did put up a good fight. Bellinger at the top. To Brown for three. Left it long. Do fighting for the rebound, and a foul will be called on Legion. And Legions will pick up her first. Haven't seen a whole lot from Do tonight. Southern's playing some pretty good lockdown defense on her. Nymir so far with five. Couple of rebounds, couple of assists. Gonna wait for Hannah as putting those finishing touches on those shoelaces. Gives a thumbs up and we're ready to go. You know, that's the one thing shoe designers have tried to make it better as Crooks backed in is going to be called for a travel is those darn shoelaces. <laughs> We've seen Velcro over the years. You've seen the plastics to try to hold them in place. And the perfect zipper. Two things going to be tough to overcome. Here's the long jumper. Fontenot shot off the mark. Jones with the rebound. Here's Crooks at the top, the long range, just off the rim. And down the floor, Fontenot on the attack. Left it short, Jones with a rebound. It's one bucket here to begin the second half. Jones trying to change it here. She fires it to Crooks, too high and too hard. And it will be turned over. Southern's getting to the hoop. They're just not making it with that intimidating presence of Iowa State's height down low. Matabu and Jackson will check back in for Iowa State. Southern will bring Castro back into the contest. And to work goes Castro here at the high post is gonna hand it off to Morgan. And she'll hit the 15 footer. So Morgan with seven. Here's Brown. The answer back here on this end for Addie Brown. Now tying a season high with 11.
Jaguars trying to spread the floor on the attack with the Legions. Good move. Solid move by Survivor Legions. Sophomore checking into the scoring column for the first time. And that's a perfect, perfect example of adjusting to the height for that reverse layup. Fleming into the front court. Fleming to work from the elbow. Wide of the mark, rebound to Jackson. Good work by Nataboo down low. Can't get the shot to fall. It's been a struggle here in the second half for these two teams in the paint. The pull up, Legions knocks it down. Southern's coming in with a bit more energy than Iowa State off halftime. See the three-point numbers. Lead trimmed down to 20. The foul going to be called here on Southern. Jalen Bristow will come in. Southern also with some wholesale changes. Three players back into the game. Taylor Williams back in for the first time here in the second half. Got Lidge in to guard Natabo. A good size matchup. And Obillo also checking back into the game here for Southern. So changes made. Jackson will get the inbounds. Now to Bellinger. Here's Bristow at the top. Can't get it to fall. And the rebound bobbled around and will go out of bounds. Iowa State will own the possession here. Boy, Lidge unable to corral that rebound. So from underneath, here's Bellinger. Can't get it to fall. Bristow. And Jalen will be fouled and will go to the line. Bristow's coming in a bit more aggressive than she did that first half. It's great to see in a freshman learning her role. And much like Addie Brown, these are going to be the first free throws of the season for Jalen Bristow. Able to knock that one down now with three in the game. That free throw off the mark, but how about Jackson, the freshman with a rebound? Iowa State will hold the possession here. Bellinger to Bristow, shot clock winding down. Now five on the clock. Lidge doing a great job of keeping Natabo out of position. And that is gonna be off of the head of Williams. And Iowa State will hold it. This is a very long possession here for Iowa State. Jackson now to Bellinger. Hand off to Ariana. And a foul underneath. Natabu was battling for position. And the foul is going to be called on Lidge. A bit of holding. I mean, time of possession here on this possession, and now it'll be a race. Now Southern will get it back, and a legal screen going to be called on Iowa State. And that is going to be called on Natabu. That'll be her first. So back at it here with Southern, down by 21. The dump down, Natabu will deny it. Iowa State will look to run it. Here's Bristow opening on the block. Gets it swatted away by Lidge. And now a foul on Bristow. Bristow's got some great length. She just has to find that strength to really um, get those elbows out and fight for it. We've got a timeout on the floor. 4.59 to play here in the third quarter. Iowa State leads it by 21. Got 12, as does Audie Crooks, but Bellinger really electric to start this game. 
She came out with that kind of robotic, automatic, quick shot, and Southern's been struggling to defend it. She comes out with that veteran status, um, understanding the court, understanding what's her shot and what's not. Crooks right now on the bench, on the floor for Iowa State, Natabu, Bristow, Jackson, Dew, and Bellinger. Looking to work with it is Morgan. So they hand it off, Legion's on the paint, on the baseline, excuse me. That pass gonna be deflected off of Williams. She's joined on the floor by Obilo Lidge as well. Both teams are coming out quite rocky this second half with not as much energy as they all came out in that first half. Well, we had a, that one, could be another turnover here by Iowa State as Bellinger tripped. You know, Bill Penley had told us that, you know, after the challenging weekend a, a week ago against Drake losing at the Knapp Center, you know, how did the week of preparation go leading up to this? Because it's been eight days since they last played. He said, mentality is good. He said, you know, bad or good, the mentality is good because, they all have a short memory. <laughs> yeah, mem have, <laughs> a mem have a memory of a goldfish, they say. Uh, plus, Iowa State came came back that third quarter versus Drake, which proves that they do have do, they do have it in them to come back, and they have that grit to fight. And so, hopefully, they'll continue. Ooh, Nataboo tangled up down low with Lidge, and that was a box out in dramatic fashion as the two are tied up. Let's take a look. Adabu going up and undercut by Lidge. I'll say I, I don't know if that looked intentional. That kind of just looked like two people going up for the ball. And Natabu able to knock down that free throw. Coach Fuchas looking on as Nellie Natabu ready to toe the line. Here's her second opportunity. That one will roll off the mark. So lead at 22. Spite. Rash of turnovers by Iowa State in the second half. The Jaguars have been unable to cut into the lead. That pull up knocked down by Williams. I bet Southern's happy Williams is back tonight. It didn't not play in the last game against Miami. Here's Jackson, her shot, short. Rebound to Southern. Iowa State is absolutely dominating the rebounds. 34 to 15. Uh, Southern's really struggling to kind of on the defensive boards. Here's Obillo. Off the mark, rebound to Bristow. Big skip pass to Dew. Quickly covered up. I don't know if it's a footing, but a number of players have fallen down here in the second half. We'll say it's a little slick out there. <laughs> Floor has good contact. It's been physical too. Southern moving it around. Here's Morgan, the pull up. Natabu will tip it up. It'll come down to Southern and Bellinger will pick up the foul, her second. Addie Brown and Kelsey Jones back in for Iowa State. Here's another look. Good quick first step, good pump fake. It was definitely a little over the back on Bellinger. It was Castro who pulled down the rebound. Looking to put it in play is Fleming. She'll shoot it out way up top to Fontenot, who's also rejoined the lineup along with Williams, Reed, and Castro. Jones with a rebound for Iowa State. Gets it inside, Bristow using the glass to get the deuce. Jalen Bristow now with five. 
Back the other way. Fleming. Good Quick jump answer. stop. Good hook shot. She's got six. Bellinger looking to work. Trying to find Dew. They're measuring. Bristow inside to Brown. With the right hand from the left side, she gets it in for two. Now Addie Brown with a new career high. She's sitting with 13 points. Reed can't get it to fall. Now do. Here's Jones. Just off the mark. And a dead ball rebound to Southern. So the Jags will go back to their bench again. Kiana Morgan will be back into the lineup. She'll check in for Williams. 109 to play here in the third quarter. Thanksgiving week. Getting started with a lot of hoops here tonight in the Big 12. Total of five teams in action. Coach Finley looking forward to playing Vanderbilt and Syracuse over the Thanksgiving tournament. Bristow saved it in. Some good ACC, SEC teams. Man, that was a loose ball that would not be corralled. Brown had a couple of shots at it. Now a foul called on Iowa State. Brown will pick it up. And Southern will go to the line. Scott Yarborough, Maggie Teeman, the officials talking things over. And to the line we go with Sky Castro. Came in shooting right at 50% at the line this season. Senior from Queens, New York, able to knock down the first one. Now we wait for the lane to fill up. Southern only shooting three free throws. Castro able to knock them both down, and the criminal justice major now with four in the game. 20-point lead, third quarter winding down. Here's Bellinger. Hits the jumper. Now with 14 in the game for Hannah Bellinger. Fleming in the paint. Tries to find Castro. It'll be tied up. Possession arrow will give it to Iowa State. Castro getting a little frustrated. Those pesky guards. So Brown calling out the play as she brings up the ball. Shot clock is off. Iowa State trying to hold for one here. Brown to Bristow. It's going to be turned over. Southern with an opportunity here, but Jones says no. Down to one. A half-court heave going to be off the mark. That'll be the end of the third quarter. Iowa State takes a 22-point lead into the final 10. We'll have that for you when we return as you're watching college basketball on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Plus. So as we take a live look in here on how Texas Tech and UTSA is doing. Again, Texas Tech trying to go to 5-0 in this early season. So a close game in that fourth quarter. Meanwhile, Southern starting to heat up. Each team scored 12 apiece in that fourth quarter. Now Chloe Fleming knocking down the three, making this one somewhat more interesting as Crooks is going to be called for the travel. On Southern, we have Fleming. We have Morgan and Williams leading the charge. And Iowa State, we got Brown leading with 13 points, Bellinger with 14, and Augie, Audie Crooks with 12. We'll try to keep you posted as that game progresses along for Texas Tech. That three is off the mark, and the rebound underneath 
goes to Castro. And the foul going to be called on Bristow. And for Bristow, I believe that's going to be her fourth. So Jalen will have to check out for Dew. So out on the floor, it is Dew, along with Bellinger, Jones, Brown, and Crooks. For Southern, they've got Botno, Fleming, Reed, Castro, and Morgan. Southern down 19. Fleming looking to drive it on Brown, the floater. Can't get the friendly roll, but this is off of Bellinger's fingertips, out of bounds. Southern will hold on to the possession. Now the Jags will launch it up top. Fleming trying to go inside. Botno able to, or Williams, I beg your pardon, able to bang that one home. And Southern starting to inch a little bit closer. Bellinger going to hand it off to Jones, and it's intercepted by Fleming to the rack. Chloe Fleming starting to take over here in the fourth quarter. She's got 11 to lead all Jaguars. Southern starting to catch that energy. Iowa, Iowa State's going to have to match it. You can hear the Iowa State fans trying to push Iowa State back into the game. Here's Crooks back out to do 4-3. Can't get it to fall. Iowa State cold from the perimeter here in the second half. Fleming, who has the hot hand, will continue that hot hand and one for Chloe Fleming. And Fleming is a lefty. Iowa State kind of gave, gave that a clear alleyway to the hoop for her. And that's exactly what she wants. Nataboo will check back into the game. Crooks will check out. Lead down to 13. Largest lead was a 24 for Iowa State, and now Dew gets Iowa State back on track from the perimeter. Now Iowa State, 9 of 24 from downtown. Here's Fleming, gets a two-pointer from the right elbow. Chloe Fleming putting on a tough game here. She was a second team all preseason pick for the SWAC. And that's just a given. Fleming has made the last couple points. She's the one that you need to shut down. She's feeling hot. Nataboo too strong. Brown will deflect it out. Southern will get the ball back. It's a 14 point game with 6.51 to play. Tiana Lidge will check back into the game. And Southern loaded with experience on this team. Three graduates on the roster. Here's a long jumper by Reed. Can't get it to fall. Now do. Brown working it in the paint. The right hand, she'll go to the line to shoot two. Addie Brown drawing contact out of Taylor Williams. Good spin move, good extension of that right arm, recognizing where the defense is at and drawing that foul. Now Jackson will come back into the lineup for Iowa State. Bellinger is out. Nia Reed will also check out of the game. Brown's free throw in and out. And 
Now two of three from the line for Addie Brown. Now with 14. <laughs> 15 point advantage for Iowa State. Jumper too strong, Jones with another rebound. And it bobbled him backward as she was being harassed by Allegiance. Now Nataboo gets it to the front, but a 10 second violation called on Iowa State. Carlos did say before the game that uh, they wanted to practice their man-to-man, -man. they wanted to press, they wanted to mix it up on defense, and um, we're seeing it now. So Billo back in the game, she'll be at the point. Goes high to Williams. Williams from the foul line. Can't get it to fall, Nataboo with a rebound. Jackson in transition ahead to do. Nataboo caught up. We'll give the Brown. To Jones for three. Got it. Kelsey Jones now with nine in the game. Three for five from the three point line. Southern with the pull up from Williams. A little strong and the rebound to do. Jackson ahead of the front court. Brown looking to seal. Jones gets an opening. Now Morgan will clear it to Obillo. Morgan will pull up and hit. Kiana Morgan off the bench with a big night tonight. She's got 10. That was a great attack, change of tempo in order to create that space for her shot. 16 point lead for Iowa State. Nearing the four minute mark, here's Jackson. Can't get it to fall and the rebound tracked down by Lidge. So Southern trying to get a little bit closer and an illegal screen will be whistled on Tiana Lidge. And that'll bring us to a timeout on the floor. 65-49, Iowa State with the lead. And it's apparent UCF is in great shape to hold off Auburn out of the SEC to get their third win of the year. Shantavia Dawkins into the contest. Crooks will clean it up. Great seal by Crooks to give Shantavia that look. 67 to 49. Dawkins giving Iowa State a little bit of a spark there offensively on the dribble drive. And a foul gonna be called up top on Dawkins. That was a good quick first step by Fontenot. So we'll pick up the foul. Lead here at 18, Iowa State's largest at 24. Southern has actually outscored Iowa State 13 to nine now in the fourth quarter and add to it 16 to nine as that triple is knocked down by Fontenot. Dawkins, can she have the answer? No, left it short. And the rebound to Southern. On the drive, Obillo able to fill it. Wide open look by Obillo. And a timeout gonna be taken here by Southern. I'm sure Coach Finley will have something to say about that lack of communication. So we'll take a timeout to Southern trying to claw their way back into it, down 13 with 3.02 to play. Rebounding, Iowa State doing a lot of glass work tonight on Southern. In fact, they have outboarded the Jaguars tonight, 43 to 26. Led by Kelsey Jones, who has nine rebounds. In fact, she's just a point and a rebound away from her first career double-double. I can really appreciate a guard going in and fighting off 
all those other people down low for those rebounds because rebounds takes a lot of effort and doesn't just come naturally. Here's Brown inside with the right hand, able to fill it up as Iowa State had two on the block. And Brown able to connect now, leading the way with 16. Looking to go to work with Fontenot. She's had the hot hand here. Tries to continue it. Badu says no, but it goes right into the hands of Southern and able to fill that one up as Tiana Lid. She's got four. Southern has now outscored Iowa State 22-11 here in the fourth quarter. Inside, Crooks, count it. So strong is Audie Crooks. A bit unstoppable down low tonight. Even with a double-double, or double-team. <laughs> double Audie saying, yeah, count that one. Crooks tonight shooting eight of 10. First free throw attempts. Ariana Jackson back into the game for Bellinger. Brown and Crook, Crooks putting on a show tonight, 16 and 16 points. This is the free throw here. Rebound gonna be tracked down by Fontenot. Both holding six points too, or six rebounds. Two minutes to play. Jaguars trying to make a run at it, and we'll have to do it with the clock stopped here, which will help them. Sky Castro will go to the line. Foul on Nymir Du. So Crooks will check out. Jalen Bristow back in. Castro there to shoot two. First one off the mark. Fourth free throw attempt of the night. Can't get it to fall. Brown with the rebound. Dawkins. Bristow trying to post up down low. Jackson's three off the mark. Dawkins with the rebound. We'll scrap it away, but we'll be tied up. Possession arrow will keep it with Iowa State. 18 on the shot clock. And Nellie Natabu. will come in for due. Here's Brown. Now Jackson at the top. Fills it up. Jackson, that's a confidence builder as she knocks down that three at the top. 74-56, Cyclones back up by 18. And going to the line is going to be Sanaya Reed. Haven't seen a whole lot from her tonight uh, with her being the primary player versus Miami in this last game. Jackson will go to the, or Jackson picking up her first foul. Reed's free throw off the mark. Her first time to that free throw line. And knocks down the second, so one out of two on the trip for Reed. Mike has five points now on the night. Here's Brown underneath. 18 on the evening for the freshman. Iowa State is a group now with 24 assists. And the three on this end by Reed. 16 point advantage as we have 45 to play. Here's Dawkins. To her left will drive it in, gets clearance and bangs it off the window for two. 
That's her first field goal of the night. So everyone who has played for Iowa State has scored. And Brown with the rebound and will look to dribble out the clock. 78-60, an electric first half for Iowa State in which they built a 22-point lead in the second half. Got a little sluggish in the third and was able to finish it here in the fourth. And how fitting for the freshman who finishes with season high here at 18, Addie Brown will dribble it out. And Iowa State will pick up their second win on the season. Southern dropping to 0-5 on the year. So a big win here, Chelsea, for Iowa State to get win number two and give them some momentum heading into the Thanksgiving weekend tournament in Las Vegas. Yeah, a little closer than we would have thought at half, but they pulled it out and found it in the end, and it's great to see. I want to remind you we've got uh, an opportunity here coming up to talk to our player of the game as Iowa State wins it 78-60. to Cyclones led by Addie Brown with 16. Hannah Bellinger finishes with 14. As does Audie Crooks finishes with 16. So Iowa State goes to 2-1 and one on the year. Southern at 0-5. Cyclones next in competition again. Coming up on the 24th as they take on Vanderbilt in Las Vegas. So our final score again, Iowa State 78-60. to We're awaiting our player of the game, Audie Crooks. who finishes with a big night tonight for Iowa State as uh, Audie gets settled in here with us. And congratulations on the win here tonight uh, to, to bounce back and get it. Uh, what's your assessment of how the game went for you? Um, I thought for me, um, I thought I played, I played decent. Uh, I tried to execute, uh, take what they were giving us defensively and offensively. I think we definitely picked it up uh, after our last game at Drake. We, you know, we, we got back in the lab. We had a lot to work on. And I think we executed those things pretty well here tonight. Uh, what areas do you think Coach Finley's going to talk to you guys about as you approach Thanksgiving break uh, and you, um, you play some really great teams? And uh, how do you think that your team's going to need to adjust for those games? Sure. Uh, turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. I mean, at halftime, I think we had had nine or ten. That can't happen. You know, those are going to be crucial possessions going into the, uh, these Thanksgiving games. So I think we're definitely going to have to work on, you know, even though I think we did play better uh, today than we did at Drake, offensively, I think we're going to have to execute a little better, get lined up, get to our spots. Because, like I said, those turnovers are a result of us not getting lined up, not being in the right places. So in order for us to be successful uh, going into this break, going into the next month and into the Big 12 uh, season, we're going to need to clean that up. Well, Audie, congratulations on the win. Good luck out in Las Vegas. Thanks so much. Audie Crooks joining us. Well, for Chelsea Poppins and our entire crew, 